Happiness to you. This is Crystal Dragonfly, and I am doing a video on eucalyptus essential oil. Um, the eucalyptus essential oil is actually obtained from the dried leaves of the eucalyptus tree, and then it's steam distilled um, to make the oil. And for a smell, um, if you never smelled eucalyptus, um, and you probably have, you just didn't know it because it's used in a lot of menthol type of things. It's a very, it's strong. It is very, and I'm going to probably sniff this a lot because <laughs> my sinuses are messed up. Um, it's a strong, woodsy, menthol, sweet smell. Very menthol. Like that's the. Anybody knows if they're from uh, any older than me or my age, Vicks Vapor Rub, it smells just like it, but not so medicine, if that makes sense. Um, Vicks, <laughs> Jesus Christ, eucalyptus oil. Um, mainly it's from um, Australia and China. Two places that they you can get that have it. Um, I love eucalyptus oil right now, and this way I'm doing it on this time of year is because everybody and anybody um, bored because you got your windows all boarded up. You know the germs are just sitting in your house, just festering. And one gets sick, everybody gets sick, and blah. So what you can do with your wonderful eucalyptus oil. And your eucalyptus essential oil is not an expensive one at all. Um, it's rather, I mean, the price is fine, you know, you can pick one up. No biggie. Um, get you, uh, if you have a diffuser, which I do. If you don't, if you have like a candle, um, a way you can use essential oils, um, too, is diffusing, which is what I've been doing. Um, I do every day, um, sometimes more than that if there is something going on or somebody came over that are sick. Um, I put essential oil in my diffuser with oil tea tree. And it keeps, er, it keeps that people from getting sick so much. It really does. Um, I also use it in my diffuser if, even if the sickest because it's great for sinuses and allergies. I'm always, uh, since I was forever had really bad sinuses and allergies. I mean, I was so bad I was on allergy shots when I was younger. So, but it's great for allergies, sinus infections, anything like that. Gets that nose opened up. We don't have to be using those damn uh, allergy pills that make you go, oh, they make you groggy, gro groggy, they make you groggy, <laughs> groggy, and drowsy. See, so I put the two together, groggy. I made a word. They make you groggy. And I hate that feeling. You know, I hate medicine head groggy feeling. So, I'll go over some good um, other uses they're f good for. Inflammation, um, cough, and if you do two to three uh, drops in your palm. With And uh, as always, if you guys, this is what I do, what other people do, you don't have to do it. If you're um, with essential oils, of course, if you're sensitive, you may need to put it with a carrier oil, like coconut, um, if you fucking getting you the vegetable oil, if that's what you had, you need to do with it. I wouldn't argue with vegetable oil, but, you know. So, you two or three drops in your palm with, a different, uh, carrier oil, if you're sensitive. Rub it, rub it across your chest, bottom of the feet, your spine, and it will knock that cough out. And good for cold, as I already talked about runny nose. I explained, I mean, just if you, you run, your nose is running, you just sit here and inhale it like out of the bottle. Or if you need to break this shit up, you can inhale it. Uh, muscle pain. And muscle pain and inflammation go together because just regular pain, too. If you put some of this in um, your bath with Epsom salt, oh, it's wonderful, guys, wonderful. If you have bad pain, you can put it on the direct spot on your body. <coughs> um, exhaustion, it does help with, give you a little pick-me-up. Fever, um, most respiratory issues, if you talk about headaches, viral infections, antiviral and antibacterial. Very much antibacterial. Um, 
You can use Eucalyptus, I mean, instead of the Vixapura, instead of Biofreeze, instead of Icy Hot, um, Town on a Lead, it's good for headaches. Um, I do a mix, I do a Whirler Ball mix, and it's got Peppermint, I know it's got Peppermint, it's got Eucalyptus, um, I got a couple other things in there, and I put it on my temples, across my, um, forehead, and if it's in the back, I'll put it across my back and my neck, too. And it gets rid of them, so I don't have to pop so many Tylenol and things like that. Um, it is one that you don't want to ingest. Don't ingest it. <laughs> don't. Um, you can make, I don't know if you end up making the um, bath bomb, you could do one with your glass, make it like a sinus bomb. Um, you can do a lot with, it's freaking snowing me in. You can do a lot with it, um, especially this time of year. But not only medically, um, it's great for your hair. It um, it'll improve if you uh, use it. Improves your shine, the thickness of your hair. Because what it does is it gets that if you mix it up with some other oil and you put it on your scalp, and let it sit for about an hour before you just wash it normally, it gets those hair follicles. Um, blood moving into that area in your hair. Um, it's also good for if you, the itchiness and build up. It gets rid of that. Um, but I will say don't use it too much because it can dry. It can be the opposite. It can dry it up. I would make them doing it like once a week. Truthfully. Um, if you're wanting to do uh, you can make the homemade Vicks Vapor Rub. They just call it homemade Vapor Rub. Um, with that, the homemade one, there are so many recipes out there. There really is this. You can go from simple as eucalyptus to peppermint and lavender, those three together, with some coconut oil and shea butter and beeswax, and then you mix it up and use it. Or you can go a little bit more extensive to um, making it. Eucalyptus is your main one you want to use, but some people put other things in it. Like peppermint and lavender, rosemary is a good one because it's good for respiratory, and uh, tea tree is good because it's just all around good one we talked about before. So you can kind of work with um, what works for you. You know, um, peppermint might do the opposite to you. You it shouldn't, but, you know, give you a headache, but it might. You know, so work with what you've got, what you what works for you. Um, but eucalyptus is another one that I would recommend always having, just like tea tree. Um, because of its properties for allergy sinus and cold season, gets these germs out of the air, a lot along with them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, found a little bit informative. Um, if you guys use eucalyptus for anything else, um, put it in the down bar um, and let us all know. I, uh, I enjoy it. I really do. It helps me and my family out a lot. I think the next one I'm going to do, I don't know what, if anybody knows one they want me to do, put it in the down bar and I'll do that one next. Otherwise, I'll just figure it out as I go. <laughs> yeah. I know, um, I know a lot of people surprisingly has, um, reservations about essential oils. And I think that's maybe what we'll tackle next. Um, the myths about essential oils and whatnot. You know, I make these videos. I do not sell it. I don't. I'm not with any of those brands. And I want to tell you guys, you don't have to buy a certain brand. Excuse me, guys. Um, you don't have to buy the expensive brands. The you can buy an off brand that's just as good. The now products are. Ch um, really much cheaper than the other and the products just as good. It really is. Um, so, I don't, back to what I was actually saying, I don't make these videos trying to encourage you to buy a certain type or this or that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into any of that. You know, if I, I'm just a person witch like you or a pagan like you. I'm just like you. I'm not doing this to make money or anything like that. I'm telling you guys about them because They've helped me and my family. Um, it's another tool 
you know, we all use essential oils, the switches do, or oils. Um, it's just another tool that's out there that um, I really like. You know, not they just did not in not only in my magical practice, but in the health and welfare of my family. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, for me, you know, for me to tell somebody about it helps sit it in my mind for I can remember. Um, and I thought maybe somebody would be interested, so. Mm -hmm. Seems like every time I do it, it's such a long you know, that I lose a couple people, so. Who knows? Um, keep watching for that video when I do the 300 drawing. Like I said, I'm not going to name it in the headlines. I will just put it in the video. And probably the next one. Next video I do. And I don't know what that's about. So, <laughs> much love and happiness to you guys. I hope you guys, if I don't talk to you, have a wonderful weekend. It's Thursday here, I think. I don't know what fucking day it is. But, bye guys.